This lesson deals with a Thevenin and equivalent circuit example. You can find these notes in the ECE 202 ebook in Chapter 8, starting on page 45. Let's Thevenize the circuit of example 810 with respect to the 3K load. And let's find V out of T in steady state. Now Thevenin's theorem and Norton's theorem work in the frequency domain, just like they do in the time domain, because in proving those theorems, we used Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's laws, and they map from the time domain to the frequency domain. So we'll take our step one circuit from example 810, and let's now box this part of the circuit, and then we'll thevenize it with respect to terminals A and B, so we can then solve for V out across the 3K load. All right, the first step in finding a Thevenin equivalent circuit is to find the Thevenin voltage. We'll take the load off, and we'll find the voltage across the open circuit. We'll do this with A with respect to B, A being the plus terminal, B being the minus terminal. Just have a voltage divider here. So we've got this impedance, which is minus J1K, over that plus J500 multiplied by the input voltage of 100 at angle zero. Add these two together, we get a minus 500 J. The J's cancel, minus signs cancel. And we get a ratio here of two times 100 or so 200 at angle zero. Set all the independent sources here equal to zero. That's just a short circuit. We have J500 in parallel with minus J1K. So the product over the sum. Product would be a J squared which is minus one times another minus one, and then 500 times one K, so 500 K. And the sum of these two is minus J 500. So the 500s cancel. One over J is minus J. So the minus signs cancel, I get J 1000. So let's put that back together now. My Thevenin equivalent circuit. The plus sign is near the terminal A, the minus near terminal B. And now we've got a voltage divider. So three K voltage divided with J one K times the 200 at angle zero. You can write the three K is three K at angle zero. Put this in our calculator. Magnitude is a little bit greater than 3K. That looks reasonable. We're gonna be in the first quadrant with an angle less than 45 degrees because this is longer than this. So 18.44 seems reasonable. This ratio is a little bit less than one. So multiply that by 200, get 189.75. Zero plus zero minus 18.44 is, is the final angle in degrees. And lastly, to go in the time domain, just gonna insert the cosine of omega t between the magnitude and the angle. So our answer then is 189.75 times the cosine of 2000 T minus 18.44 degrees, and the units are volts. And this is the same answer we had on page 26. And this is a Thevenin equivalent circuit example.